So of course I saw this virtual reality ride uh, with my sister, so I'm gonna make her do it. We're gonna do the Space Odyssey ride, so it's pretty cool. You see the ride behind me? It's pretty cool, it's $5. Can't be that, cannot be that. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm on a road trip coming from Virginia and all my way back to North Carolina. And one thing that I've really realized during road trips is that you have an incredible amount of time to think. And whether you're an entrepreneur or just trying to reach a goal, uh, vision is, is the biggest thing uh, that you should be spending most of your time thinking about and honing. So what do I mean by vision? I literally mean think and see where you want to be. Like, close your eyes and imagine uh, where you want to be in the future and then concentrate on that. That, that's vision. Here's a powerful thing about vision. No matter what you're going through, it is going to be strong enough to compel you to keep going forward. Whether you're tired, uh, whether you faced obstacles and setbacks, it does not matter. Your vision is going to set the overall direction for you to head, and nothing, nothing's going to get in your way to change that. The problem today is a lot of people they don't have vision. They don't know where they want to go. They don't want to know what goals they want to reach. Um, they kind of wander through life aimlessly and, and there's nothing wrong with trying to figure out what you want to do um, But you have to always be looking for Where you where you have your eyes? Uh, going where what direction you want to go to you have to You need to be able to always have something to reach and, and that's gonna Allow you to progress day after day. That's gonna allow you to have something to be motivated about and, and simply get out of bed I, I've really been doing a lot of thinking um, this weekend I was really busy and I still wanted to take the time to talk and, and just send out a message right now this is something that's very near and dear to my heart uh, is having a why for your life having a like why do you do the things you do why are you in the job you're in, um, it's incredibly important. If you don't have a strong enough why, uh, the first time you hit hardship, you're, you're going to buckle under the pressure. It's just human nature. So Jim Rohn has a quote that I think about a lot, and it's, you are the average of the five people uh, you spend the most time with. So the people who are, who are watching this video, who are listening to what I'm saying, probably someone that I associate with myself with uh, and obviously if I if I'm still talking to you or you're looking at this video we're we're people that we value each other's interaction on, on one way or another even if we don't interact every day and that's okay but I want to challenge the people who are watching this video if you have a vision for your life and, it, and it's a great vision and you think that it's something that uh, is, is going to get you to where you want to go, I challenge you to refine it and make it even better. And if you're someone who's confused right now and you're trying to figure out where you should go in life, I want you to comment in the, in the comment section, I don't know where I'm going in life. Or I want you to simply start talking with the people that are in this thread, if anybody's commented, commenting, or I will talk to you personally about how you get to that point um, that you can start looking within yourself and finding truly what makes you fulfilled. Because not all jobs make you happy, uh, believe it or not. <laughs> but you can find fulfillment in a lot of things. And, and that's really, that's what's important. 
So I really want to have the conversation with you about that. And if you're someone who wants to have that conversation, I'm right here. So comment and, and we'll talk. since we did our last vlog. Uh, last week was ridiculously busy. And again, I'm gonna get these vlogs out as much as possible, but some weeks it's, it's, gonna, be, it's gonna be crazy. So right now we're on our way to uh, Brood Awakenings in Jacksonville, North Carolina. So if you haven't been there, it's, uh, it's a really nice coffee place. And that is gonna be the first Mentorch Mentorship Meetup. So we are excited about that. Um, there's meetups also in Oceanside, California, in Virginia Beach. If you're in those areas or you know anyone who's down there, tell them, tell them to look out. You know, I, I really love meetup because it allows you to get together with different people, um, different backgrounds, and, and come together for something that you all are excited about and motivated about. So in this case, it's about mentorship. Um, in other cases, it's about extreme sports. In other cases, it's uh, a spiritual meetup or or golf, it doesn't matter. Um, so very cool. And uh, I'm gonna continue to document uh, what our meetups are like, the other meetups that I go to, and just share the journey along the way. that uh, meetup was really successful now. I'm gonna get a haircut, cause that's what I do. <laughs> Talk, talk, talk to you. 